Shalom upon all the children of Israel and Judah forever. We are at the spring that has been springing up water in this uh, St. Lucia Lamaze community for the last 4,000 years, uh, I say. And I'm here. I am here. We are here. I'm at the spring. I brought my bottles of water to get some water from the spring to drink. Glory, hallelujah! This is the bomb. This is a little cubby hole. This is actually like a little cul de sac. A little uh, bay, as it were, but not in water, but it's a bay. But it has this bay area look. Well, bushes, bay bushes. <laughs> and so we are in the mountains of um, uh, Southside St. Lucia. Um, between Lamaze and Morte and actually I think this is somebody's property I was told I don't know I have to double check on that but this is what they got everlasting spring so everybody in the community uh, used to come here uh, for water my mother my grandmother uh, my grandfather and my grandfathers and grandmothers all on my mother's side of the family um, used to come here walk this same pathway and come get water here to drink to bathe to wash uh, whatever you know water whatever water you supposed to bring back home to for the household so we are at the spring I could have brought some shower equipment take a little shower but I said nah because this water is cold everybody always complains how cold it is so I am actually climbing on the rock and um, let me put the bottle down one bottle down and um, taste this water forest spring <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. My Savior provides. Yeah, I drink like a horse. Now, if I remember correctly, when I was here with the boys the last time, Rashawn and Ked and the twins and the other guys, I think we're the ones that fixed this because we cleared up here. We cut a lot of the bush. We cut a lot of these bushes going up this path. We went up a good distance, clearing bush all around this tree and I think we're the ones that set up, set this thing back up again this uh this uh half PVC pipe for the water to run through and you know what is so amazing you know what is so amazing this is crazy look at this tree this tree is just we just put these rocks here if I remember correctly yes we put the rocks there because that's the spot that, the, that everybody you know stands right here and take a little shower and drink and whatever you know that's the spot everybody comes to for this water um, put the buckets here and all that stuff so I think we put these rocks here and this branch and that branch and I remember correctly yes we did we put these oh my gosh this is amazing look at this look at that the branch is actually growing from nothing. It's not planted in the ground. This branch is not planted in the ground. It's not planted in the ground. Let me tell you the story I was told. The water company here in St. Lucia named Wasco, W-A-S-C-O, Wasco. They came out here to this spring to take advantage of the poor people here. Now, 
a fact where, where uh, in, in La Maz, this whole community area, Roblo, La Maz, this area, Wasco turns off the water five days a week, sometimes six days a week, turns on the water one day or two days. And everybody has to survive, whole household, from old granny to young little kids and everybody age in between have to survive on whatever little water Wasco is supplying. And it's very sad. It's been going on since my mother was born. Since my grandmother was born in 1917. That's why they had to come here to this spring to get this water. Now, Wasco came out here to set up, to take this water that's flowing from this rock behind me. It's a rock. It's all it's a rock. And when they set up, this is how the story goes, how they told me, when they set up the equipment to, and it was ready to start collecting the water and distribute it into a tank and then, you know, onto the community, the water stopped flowing. So, excuse me, yeah? Right. So, so guess what? And when it stopped flowing, it started flowing in another area I don't know where but it started flowing like another direction over there or something like that and so they had they, they were shocked they were surprised so they they stopped took out all the equipment that they had set up here huh right where I'm standing they took out removed all the equipment and go to where the water started flowing because it stopped from here and went somewhere else so they went to the other spot set up the equipment and was ready to start flowing it to their tank or whatever or what system to make people pay money. Robbery. This is what happens to thieves. And so when they were almost finished in the second spot and ready to start the business of selling the water, the water stopped flowing. And they went to a third location like somewhere over there. And they gave up. And I think it was twice or three times, but they gave up. And when they gave up and removed all their equipment and left this spot where I'm standing, the water came back flowing to the very same spot. When they left, the water came back flowing to this very same spot it's been flowing for the last 4,000 years. The government of St. Lucia needs an ass kicking. Yes, I said it. You need your ass kicked. Because you don't feed the community here water every day like you should. The water is free. And you know, I prayed. I, pr I was so, so impressed by that story from a very, very old lady who's related to me on my mom's side of the family. She, when she told me that story, I was so amazed i had to pray i prayed i prayed i prayed i asked the father in heaven i said what what was that what happened and you know what he did he showed me in a dream he, he took me to this spot like i was standing right over there along that trail in a dream father in heaven gave me a dream he put me right there and he told me look at the rock and i looked at the rock this is where the water is coming from and in my dream, I saw an angel just sitting right here, guarding. And his only job is to guard and protect the water that's coming from this spring. Okay, I'm sorry I did this video long way and not uh, horizontal, not widescreen. But um, it's going to have to pass. This video going to have to go on YouTube and be published as it is. Um, so now I come back here. The last time I was here at this spring was in January, which is the very first time I came to this spring in my life. This is the second time I'm here at this spring in my life. And I remember we cleaned up this area and, and we set up these little stones right here. Take a stick. We just took a stick from out, out here. We broke a little piece of stick to, to keep this thing going, flowing, so people can come and get the water. Like, like you know, take a little shower and stuff like that. And now this look. Shalom upon all the children of Israel and Judah forever.